Hi guys. Yeah. Gen Con 2019, Palladium Books with Kevin Shimbita. And I'm puckering a little bit, so that was a little bit off on my accent. Oh. I just had a chocolate shake. That's right. One of them way ones thingies. I needed lunch. And we're going to talk all things riffs, all things palladium, all things, I don't know what else, but everything. Wait, there's a big piece of paper here. This is the 40th anniversary. Well, this isn't, but that will be. Well, yeah, 2021. <laughs> wow, you're starting early. Good. Yes. Two we years from now. A lot of people. We so wanted, wanted to be great. You, you wait. So last time I was at an open house, right? It was packed, and I really didn't think you could put more people in there. So are you not going to use the open house or the warehouse for this? No, we're going to. Holy well, we, we crap! Have to, we always have to limit it to about 300 people. Tickets are only four thousand dollars a piece for this one. I'm trying to make you money. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can get it, yes, four thousand dollars a piece. <laughs> but probably more like forty or fifty dollars for the weekend and and whatever ho everything. hotel and room. Everything. There's no other costs. Well, you got to pay for your own room. Well, yeah, but I mean at the event. But RVs are welcome. Games. RVs. RB. RVs. RVs. RV, as RVs? in RVs, recreational vehicles. I don't know where they're parking them, but sure. Uh, somewhere. But anyway, where do you want to start? Um, I guess the latest. The Rift's Bestiary. Yep. It's out. It's great. People will love it. How many um, monsters are in it? 82 monsters. It's A through F. We've really... Uh, really? There's only 82 beasts in this book? Yeah. Because we've really tried to give them, you'll have to excuse me, my voice is already going and it's only the first fucking day, but <clears throat> it's hopefully you can hear me. Um, wow. Yeah, we, we gave them very elaborate uh, descriptions. There's a lot of uh, role playing angles to every creature. Um, there's like 20 new monsters, 18, 20, something like that. They're all pretty cool. We tried to make every monster interesting. So it's not just slobbering beasts. It's not just 82 things to kill. It's creatures that you can use as riding animals or attack animals or guard animals, as well as slobbering beasts that will tear you to shreds or do terrible things to you. Great black and white art, as usual. Yeah, I got a bunch of great, great artists working on that. Oh, there's a lot of DB races in here, too. Not really. Oh, okay. I just saw the canines and stuff, so. Canines are dogs. They're not BBs. Yeah, well, you know, I thought they were playable. As they're playable the way I play. They're playable <laughs> as dogs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so clearly Matt has been drinking early today, and, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, or late. <laughs> or late, there you go. Uh, I was drinking late. I don't think so. He's here with his wife. I think he's being a good boy. She knows I was drinking late. <laughs> oh, no, she's shaking her head no. So I guess he was drinking late. That explains a lot. <laughs> Very much so. Wow. I can't believe that this 250-page book only has 80 beasts in it. Well, every beast's got a map. So you can tell exactly where he's found at a glance. There's all kinds of information about them. Like I said, there's a lot of different adventure hooks and things as well. So that means this is a little bit um, art light, most likely. Uh, it's mostly well, it's mostly text. Well, 82 illustrations. Every every creature is illustrated. So, plus maps for everybody. But yeah, it's good stuff. It's something different. We wanted to do something that was more than just your typical monster manual that just had one slobbering beast after another. Although I love the beast that slobber, that's why he's on the cover. So you said there was 20 that were brand new? Yeah, 18 or 20, yeah. Yeah, so roughly 30% of the book is brand new. Yep. And the rest is expanded. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the it. rest is expanded, exactly. That one we, we didn't just reprint anything. We, I went in and rewrote bits of everything. Hey, and that, that cover looks like it's familiar. Yeah. Yeah, we, we cannibalized that cover. It's from uh, Riff's Conversion Book 1, the cover. 
great issue of the Rifter. There's all kinds of great articles in there. Um, I think people will really like it as stuff for fantasy, and um, heck, it's almost worth it just, well, almost every article is so good, it's worth it almost for that particular article. But the thing that really struck me was the 50 new magic weapons and, and items specifically designed with rifts in mind, but is easily adaptable to Palladium Fantasy or Heroes Unlimited or Phase World, any of those. So, very good resource, very fun. Yeah, they're gonna fall over here. And then these aren't new exactly. I had these simply because um, there are two books that are coming out. These are the raw preview editions that we have here at Gen Con to sell. But both these books are in production. The art's almost done for this one. The art is all done for this one. Most of the writing is done for this. It'll go to the printer probably a week after we get back from Gen Con. We even have some advanced covers. And Gardens of the Gods, both of these books, Titan Robotics and Garden of the Gods are epic. I think they're two of the best things we've released in a, in a while, along with the Beast Jerry. We're just creatively, we're on fire. No, I like Sovietsky quite <laughs> a bit. Well, I mean, we always try to do a great job, but I don't know, just creatively, we've been on, on fire with these last several books. I, I like Sovietsky because it was a new way to retell the, uh, the Rift story. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the fact that they, like, hid underground, and yep. it, it was just, it was really neat. I had a lot of fun reviewing that one. That good. was That was good. That was, I was, I would, I did not expect that. I think that was the biggest thing for me as to why I liked it. Well, that's what we're trying to do with all these. It's the same thing as the Rift's Beast, Jerry. We think there's going to be a lot of creatures that people will look at and go, wow, I was not expecting this. Or, holy crap, it does what? Um, we're really trying to push the envelope. We're really trying to surprise people with everything we're doing. And they are, I think. Um, I think so, too. So, when are the, you, you said the Garden of the Gods is going to print right away? Yep. This, sh this should be out by uh, end of August. And Titan Robotics, when will that come out? Um, probably November or December. Okay, so January, February, March, what do we got going on? Um, we've got lots of other stuff coming out. Um, what do we have? Well, even before that, we have uh, In the Face of Death, which is for... Um, Dead Rain, okay. and then uh, in in uh, January, February, March, we've got uh, the Disavowed. Finally, Rifts Disavowed, um, Rifts Antarctica, um, a couple different things. I don't know. I want to. I've got a couple of things I want to kind of surprise people with. So okay, that's fair. <clears throat> that's fair. So, what was your favorite part of Garden of the Gods? Um, I think kind of everything, really. Just the whole idea of addressing a bunch of these new gods. So the cool thing about Garden of the Gods, <clears throat> sorry, is that there are like 40 or 50 new gods in it. So the concept behind the garden is that it represents all the gods. But there are many gods that people have forgotten about over thousands and thousands of years. So there's like 50 forgotten gods, and each one is, is described briefly, and uh, you also get the blessings that God will give you, artifacts they might tell you about, <clears throat> sorry, and uh, it's really cool. There's all kinds of new, neat stuff in there, so again, I think something that people will look at and go, wow, this is amazing, plus there's new stuff about the old ones in it. Cool. What about um, Titan Robotics? Well, Titan Robotics, it's Archie. Archie 3. I mean... Yeah, okay, that's fair. <coughs> I mean, I haven't done with anything with Archie since... 92. <laughs> so, you know, Archie's this... <laughs> Archie's a badass, crazy artificial intelligence. So it's, it's a whole bunch of the robots and power armor and things that he sells and a bunch of his machinations, so... Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. I meant to bring a bunch of art to show people, but I, of course, forgot. Well, that can happen. I forgot my tripod at the car this morning, and then I walked back and my wife had it. <laughs> and she was in here. <laughs> Looking for you. Yes. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's, that's how my day started. Uh, so, let's see here. Well, what else you want to add? I don't know. It's been sort of a crazy start for us. <clears throat> so, and I'm losing my voice. So I think 
Maybe you want some water. Maybe. Is that your water behind you? Probably. Is it one of yours? <laughs> yep. Don't forget to gargle. There we go. Much better. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe I'm losing my voice already on uh, the first day. But, uh, yeah, we have all kinds of great things that we, we're going to be supporting uh, all of our major game lines. Um, we also want to come out with uh, three or four um, Beyond the Supernatural books next year. Oh, nice. Yeah, people have been waiting for those for a long time. That's one of the things I want to surprise people with books they've been waiting for and finally come out with them and have them go crazy over it so so when is um f through oh, l coming out that that should be out uh next march maybe sooner it depends how fast i can get it done okay. uh, so how many are, are in the works for the actually it might be out like more like january or february yeah. as i think about it well this is volume one right. volume two will be january february right volume three um, summer. Okay. Yeah, we want and them to come out pretty quick so people have a full library to work with. And volume three is probably the last one, I would imagine, or is gonna, are you slating it for four? Um, we're thinking of possibly doing a, um, a, a supernatural and magic creature book, and we're also thinking about doing a dragon book. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, what you could do, with, I mean, that Dragon Book could actually be multiple volumes. Multiple, easily. Um, wow, I, I just got floored. I hope you guys got floored. All right, what's next? What's next coming out? Well, no, we already did that part. Oh. Uh, anything you want to add? Like, um, when's the next, what, what? Let's see, what's the I was there three years ago for the open house, right? Three or four. Doesn't, th that doesn't matter. Yeah. What about that Rifts board game you guys were working on? Um, that's been kind of put aside for now, but yeah, we'd like to see that happen. Um, you know, Carmen put a lot into it, and he's just been dealing with a lot of different issues. So. What? Are you oh. talking about the board game at the open house? Yeah, the one that was being playtested. Yeah, we want to fool around with that too. We want to develop it a bit more. It's a little bit too complicated, I think. It needs to be streamlined a bit. Okay. But it, yeah, the cool thing about that board game by uh, Scott Gibbons is that um, it really has a ton of role-playing elements. So even though it's a board game, it really feels like a role-playing game. That's excellent. All right. I think I think it covers everything. Yep. Sorry, covers I'm, yeah. I'm uh, that's okay. You're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, anyway, thank you. My pleasure. I hope you uh, lose your voice today, so you don't have to talk to anybody the rest of the show. Well, I hope that's not uh, the case, but yeah, and, <laughs> it may and, happen. And see you guys later. Bye bye. Yay! Meet the nibbles. Who's gonna go down? <laughs> she just did. Decided not to go down my back, so. We'll do this for her so she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and I appreciate it. Uh, please, please hit the like button uh, and, and share it if you, you know, know somebody who might be interested. And of course, there's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy, and soon I have a newsletter coming that'll be down there or in the link below. And my kitty cat loves that idea. Uh, so anyway, uh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Oh yeah, subscribe. Be a part of my community, our community. Let's make it grow together. See you guys at a con somewhere or a local store. Or if I'm driving through the country, maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.